All right, we're back, episode two. I'm gonna do the same thing as before, just offense only. Um, actually, you know what? Huh, I just thought of this now. I'm gonna do a... Let's do this, and we'll do the big moments. I'll see if I somehow can make it work that way. Just see if that's my best option here. It's week one of the National Football League. I'm not sure if that's my best option, but I'll give it a shot. Week one of the season as we drop you into the first drive of this ball game and get our first look at this offense. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hopkins. That'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Pretty good. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking for Hopkins, and he's got him on the crossing route. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 36. He'll look to throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Holding So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Now into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Dave. <laughs> The scoreboard says goose eggs right now, but we might be changing that momentarily. The offense with the football in the red zone. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Stephon Gilmore. On second down now, this defense sort of finding themselves with their backs against the wall. Ball in the red zone. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. They'll look to throw again. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are in great shape here as they take. Potential trouble looming for this defense. They'll need to stiffen here as they face a first and goal on their seven yard line. Prescott yet again. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Now here's Pollard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Gold is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, in an early two-score lead. Well, points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. Yeah, that is it. Man, I'm sleeping. I'm going to pick that up instead. <laughs> All right, time to jump back in. This defense already two scores down. Points here would certainly make their road back a tough one. And he comes back with one complete. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he'll be taken. A solid drive here has this offense in really good position. Can they finish the drive off? Let's find out. It's first and ten inside the red zone. Out route, and the ball is caught by Godwin. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. I'm going back to Wibbly Wobbles after that. Come on. Back to throw again. Under pressure now is going to go down. The sack back around the eight. <laughs> A loss of three on a sack made by multiple defenders. This likely a must-have. Third and goal. The quick slant caught. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's his... Things are not looking good for this offense. Three-score game in the fourth. They need points quickly. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll drop to throw. And this throw incomplete. <laughs> the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. <laughs> so back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He's going to let it fly. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of... So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. I just wish I got the XP like I should have in the preseason for Johnny. He played a lot of games. He had no experience. Oh, this guy's getting experience. So yeah, that makes sense. The backup that hasn't played a snap is getting experience. Not the starting quarterback that's played multiple times. That's wonderful. It's all right. So week one was a fucking beat down. Let's try again. Take on the Saints. Might be a better chance here. Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. It's Madden NFL. Red zone ready. Nothing on the scoreboard thus far, but that might very well be about to change as this offense comes up on a first and goal situation. They're going to look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It's a loss of four, and now it's second and goal.
He'll drop to throw. Oh, and this one's oh, incomplete. The intended target was Chris Godwin. But that was third and goal. Now he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Blankenship's kick is good. And the Bucks take a 3-0 lead. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stopped. Oh, it's a kick return? Oh. The excitement was there. Ready up! So they just got the ball off the interception. Now can this offense take advantage? Great field position, first and 10 in the red zone. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run it again with Cook. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Here's Manziel, and he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Stop. Sell it third down, keep the drive alive. This defense already looking at a deficit on the scoreboard, but now what can they design here to disrupt the start? I know they're going to take me off. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. On play action, they'll throw. And a catch made by Hopkins. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Red zone alert for the damage. And the ball, and this worked last time, because we took a long review again, so we can... They'll try the middle with Cook. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. From the 9, second and 5. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And a nice pick up there. He gets about 5 down to the 40 yard line. The offense on third down today. Just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Nice. It's their quarterback with two touch. Nice play. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Now Manziel. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And on it. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. Blankenship's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. That kick, by the way, Charles, a career long. Well, we did watch him in pregame, and he hit from this distance. This offense has been clicking pretty well here in the first half. They've got the sizable margin. Now can they add to it here for the final drive in the second quarter? Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. What do I do? I get too fucking excited, and I start trying to jam the ball. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. He rifles one that's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Peyton barely goes down the field. Just about one minute remaining here in the second quarter. This offense looking to get down at least into field goal range, but they're starting on their own side of the field. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Going across the formation, there's Otten with it. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Manziel. That's complete to his receiver, Gadwin. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is here. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. So this offense now on the edge of the red zone <laughs> at the 20, first and 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. Back now here live in New Orleans. Okay. <laughs> so this offense now on the edge of the red zone at the 20, first and 10. They run again on first down, Cook. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Demario Davis there on the stop. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Evans has it left side. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. <laughs> Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Blankenship's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance can... No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on four. They run. It's Williams. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And the ball is knocked out. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Okay, drive. What a bastard. Oh, my God. Car to throw. Alave over the middle. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. Car signaling to his guys let's go, let's go here. Car's throw caught by Alave. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. 
And this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. And they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. The receiver factor at Ohio State turned out an NFL-ready deep throw this year in Olave, who New Orleans jumped up to get at number 11. The Saints learned last week they need another defense breaker in their receiver room to allow a little bit of space to throw underneath. Some fourth quarter speed in the history of turning deep runs into touchdowns made Chris Olave their guy, and he gets them the first down. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And his kick is indeed good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they try. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. One final shot, they'll look to throw. And it's incomplete, so their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it's... Ugh, that was disgusting. When is my quarterback going to have any type of points so I can level him up? Is he just stay a fucking bum overall forever? <laughs> Alright, well. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Maybe we can bounce back in the next video. Peace out.